welcome guys to my youtube channel uh, my name is kill throw attack i'm an artist and this is my first video of this kind and i decided to make one uh, because since i'm an artist and i'm getting royalties i want to explain to you what all these changes mean and if spotify is doing it for a good reason or a bad reason so uh, stay tuned there are three main topics with these changes and i'm gonna go into detail uh, each, in each one of them so you can understand what's going on what does Spotify changes mean to you as an artist okay and it has three points here that I want to talk about uh, the first one is changing on the artist payouts um, so the issue that they are experiencing right now is that many of the songs of the Spotify in Spotify are not earning uh, enough uh, royalties or revenue to meet the minimum threshold set by labels and distributors um, so for example DistroKid um, need as at least worth $50 of a stream to let you get that money out um, so a lot of artists are not meeting those requirements um, because of that what Spotify is gonna do is gonna change the rule starting in 2024 and what it's gonna mean for you is that a song you need to get at least a thousand streams in a year um, to start making money so uh, they're not very clear on this subject uh, yet uh, what I understand or hopefully is like you're gonna still make money through all those streams from zero to 1000 and they're not gonna pay it to you until you reach those 1000 but they are very vaguely on that situation and we don't know yet if you need to make a thousand streams and then you're gonna start getting paid per stream so it's something that they need to kind of clarify uh, i'm hoping again that is that you're not gonna get paid until you make those one thousand streams in one year and i know it's hard but it's gonna put um a lot uh, more weight on us to promote uh, better to put a little bit more money into your music so hopefully it's a good thing um, so for a smaller track it's gonna be harder to promote and get to those 1000 mark but it could be uh, it could mean that it, it more money is going towards the other artists that are meeting those goals so in a perfect case scenario uh, you're gonna receive more money with this change we'll see I don't think Spotify is doing this to take advantage of us and if they are doing it a lot of people is gonna complain and take their catalogs uh, out of the Spotify so I don't think it's with a bad intention but we'll see uh, next year that's the main point let's go to the next one uh, so the next change is for all those artists that have fake uh, track plays and the issue right now is that some people are trying to cheat the system through fake track plays and these tactics include using automated bot bots um, creating loop playlists and manipulating uh, popular playlists as well uh, to inflate the stream counts um, so Spotify has spent a lot of money on detecting this and trying to shut it down but it's really hard so what is Spotify is gonna start doing uh, in 2024 uh, to stop this is it's gonna charge companies including labels and distributors linked to individual individuals in such activities and this penal penalty is designed uh, to motivate distributors and labels to uh, assume greater responsibility uh, for the content they for the content that they handle. So we don't know how much is gonna be uh, that charge, that penalty for labels and distributors, uh, but there is a rumor there that it's gonna be like ten dollars, which is nothing for these companies. So we still gotta see what's going on over there again a lot of these changes are kind of vaguely uh, set out there uh, there is not a lot of information and this is the take that I'm taking um, from from what I read so yeah if you are using bots and faking your streams that's not gonna be a good plan for 2024 because Spotify is gonna start charging and writing penalties uh, to the artists distributors and everyone that is doing this so 
I hope you can get your ducks in a row and start doing things how they're supposed to. And the third topic and change that I wanted to talk about here uh, is the there are new rules for noise tracks. So the issue right now is some people have been clearly uh, stacking short repetitive noise uh, tracks to get more streaming revenue and the stack tracks boost streaming revenue unfairly so what spotify is gonna do is gonna set some new rules so now noise tracks need to be at least two minutes long uh, to earn money also uh, they're going to pay less for noise stream compared to genuine music uh, believe it or not there is a whole market about noises like the, the rain music uh, to relax or study and stuff like that so uh, that's a bummer uh, for all the ones that were making easy money with that uh, but I kind of agree since I'm an artist and put all this work into writing uh, riffs uh, writing the drums bass and everything uh, I think it's fair that artists uh, with that capability uh, get paid a little bit more than the ones that is just making background noise like the rain and that you can copy and paste the same noise on over and over uh so the artist take for this is you are making noise tracks you just consider making it a little bit longer so you have the you are within the new regulations and you can maximize your earning potential so those are the three main changes that spotify is talking about and i wanted to go just right into it so you guys know what's going on and yeah leave a comment and let me know what you think about all these changes and if you have any questions uh, also leave a comment I will be more happy than answer it with a video or just in the comment section and if you want to support an artist that play rocks metal uh, go and listen to my Spotify <laughs> so yeah thank you guys subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video